wanted to give a quick look at the uh, screen split software that LG includes. You can see the icon right down here. Right click on it and you get a number of options. So I'm gonna click on each one and you'll see red outlines show up for the bounding areas for the different regions uh, for the software. Right now it's off. You can see it's one big red box. And then we go to two screen with a 16 by five. So you can see the larger section over here. And then we go to two screen balanced, which is half and half. And then three screen, what they call left. So you'll have a larger section on the left and then the right section split top and bottom. And then you get the same thing with three screen right, which means the larger section is on the right, the larger section on the top, larger section on the bottom. Then you get a three screen balance. And then you get a four screen balance, which is a two by two. So what I'm gonna do is show you one use case of when I would add a detailed report to the WSGF games database. So I'm going to set the three screen balanced. You can see the three bounding areas. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the page uh, here where I would do the entry. So this is one that's already completed, it's Sims 4. So you can see that the different bounding areas highlight in green for wherever it's gonna land. So that's here. Now you see I have a bunch of websites listed here. The uh, developer website, Facebook, Twitter, Wikipedia, PC Gaming Wiki, and Metacritic. So I usually keep all of those open in another window in different tabs. So I've got that one here. So I'm gonna grab it and dump it here in the middle. And then I'm gonna take the set of screenshots here that I would use, I'm gonna drop it here on the right. Now what you notice here is on the right hand side I have a bunch of empty dead space um, on the right side and at the bottom. Now if I go to pull this down, it's gonna resize. Anything you drop in one of these bounding areas fills the whole area. But what you'll notice here is the text here is kind of bunched. Uh, this is wrapping not very attractively, I guess. And then the screenshots here that I'm adding are getting cut off at this point. So the bounding areas are just a starting point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this window here and I'm gonna pull it over and get it just the area that I need. You'll notice that the middle section widened to compensate. So then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab this outer one and I'm gonna pull until I get this the width that I need it to be. So, so the next use case I'm gonna show is when I would be doing some image editing for the screenshots for a detailed report, possibly chatting with somebody from the forum and listening to Spotify uh, while I worked. So I'm gonna go here and activate the four screen balance. So I've got the two by two here. So I'm gonna take Photoshop elements that I use, I'm gonna drop it in that quadrant. Um, and then I'm going to open up Spotify. I'm gonna put it over here. And so I'm gonna click on the album I'm listening to and you can see that's um, Artificial Age here by Prince. We have a lot of dead area in the uh, middle here and then the area here is kind of cramped. I've been chatting with Delphium, so I'm gonna drop that one over here. And then I've got my file browser for the images that I'm gonna be working on and I'm gonna drop that here. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this uh, chat window here and I'm gonna shrink it down to what um, I would normally go for a chat window height. And then I'm gonna grab here uh, the Spotify. I'm gonna pull that over to what I want for a width there. And when I grab that, you can see here that I now have a much larger area for Photoshop elements. Um, I can come down here and I can view these as say a list and I can get whatever images I want. I can grab those, uh, drag and drop them up here, open them, have uh, plenty of room to work. I can keep my chat going. I can adjust what's on Spotify. And at the same time, you know, anything I wanna adjust real time on the layout, I can do. So again, a very useful tool, lots of great use cases. Um, lots of great starting points, but then the ability to customize. So a great handy tool that LG is including here with the 34UC97 and all of its ultra widescreen panels.